Hello everyone, my name is Peter Nagele and I'd like to present to you the results of our recent clinical trial that investigated nitrous oxide for the treatment of major depression. This trial was sponsored uh, with an RCET grant from the Brain and Behavior Foundation. So what is the background? The background, we, our team showed that um, a single inhalation with 50% nitrous oxide can rapidly improve depressive symptoms in patients with severe treatment-resistant depression. What is unknown is whether a lower concentration, such as 25% nitrous oxide, may provide similar efficacy and also be able to reduce the risk of adverse side effects. It is also unknown how long the antidepressant effects last after a single inhalation. This was due to the study design of the initial study several years ago that stopped measuring the, um, the depressive symptoms after one week. So we designed a clinical trial in 20 patients with severe treatment resistant major depression in a crossover design that had three arms. So each patient would be exposed to three treatments or three sessions. One was 50% nitrous oxide, the second one was 25% nitrous oxide, and the third was placebo, which was nothing other than oxygen enriched air. The session, uh, the order of the sessions was randomized. Each treatment or inhalation was for one hour, and there was now a four week, at least a four week interval between the three sessions. The primary outcome of the study was the change in the Hamilton depression rating scale. This is a very common, uh, commonly used scale um, to measure depression severity in psychiatry. Um, and the picture below shows here the typical R study design. The results, this is the primary outcome, this graph shows the relative change of depressive symptoms of depression, depressive severity between patients receiving placebo in black, 25% nitrous oxide and 50% nitrous oxide. Um, and we, we basically ended the recording of depressive symptoms after two weeks. And as it's obvious, there was no statistical, uh, statistically significant difference between 50% and 25% nitrous oxide, but compared to placebo, a highly statistically significant improvement in depressive symptoms. This graph shows the severity of depressive symptoms prior to the study and after completion of three study treatments. And as it's obvious is that uh, most patients um, had a, a fairly marked improvement in depressive symptoms after about three months um, um, of being in the study. Psychiatry also has um, two outcomes, um, definitive outcomes in depression uh, research that are um, referred to as response or emission. Response means a more than 50% reduction on the Hamilton depression rating scale, and remission means a lowering of depressive symptoms below seven points on the Hamilton depression rating scale. And here we saw a dose-dependent um, increase in the rate of response between placebo, 25% nitrous oxide, and 50% nitrous oxide, and remission between placebo, 25% nitrous oxide, and 50% nitrous oxide. When we looked at safety, um, the total number of adverse events after a single inhalation with 50% nitrous oxide was 43. After 25% nitrous oxide, in this column, only 11, and in placebo, there were four. Here we basically observed a more than fourfold reduction in adverse events uh, between 25% and 50% nitrous oxide. So in summary, we can conclude that we observed 
a similar efficacy between 50% and 25% uh, nitrous oxide in improving depressive symptoms compared to placebo. Um, and we also observed that the antidepressants eff antidepressant effect um, after a single inhalation may last between two and four weeks. And we observed a more than fourfold um, reduced risk of adverse events um, after a single inhalation of 25% nitrous oxide compared to 50%. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you.